<laughs> really? You gotta be kidding me. Hey, right, Pastor Kelly coming at you with a little short video here. I, I got in a little, uh, how you say it, uh, a chat battle or so with someone on the uh, YouTube. I watched a video here of Pastor Anderson the other day, and uh, I, I like watching him once in a while. He's he's very learned pastor. Anyhow about it, I was uh, being really nice to this person when I wrote this. As you see there on the screen, this is me saying that I liked his preaching style and uh, that we should have more preachers that way. Now, I'm going to show you what a woman, I, I believe it was a woman, it's already, they've deleted the comment now, a person wrote back to me. I didn't think he was going to believe it. Here it is. Yes, amen, I don't want to hear about the suffering of Jesus. I only want to rejoice in the good gifts I get by avoiding hell. So, I responded back to this person. Hang on. I responded in kind with uh, this little note. It says, uh, we do need to preach on how our precious Lord Jesus suffered. My point was that Brother Steve mixes it into his sermon in the old-fashioned hell and fire and brimstone preacher way. This is such a wonderful talent he has, and I'm sure it helps him retain congregants and gain a few new souls up for the Lord, amen. And then I wrote, may, you know, may God bless you as I always do, and she responded in kind. Well, I like all of his preachings about me, how I can succeed, how I can be respected, how I can be healthy. It's very motivational. I don't need to be uh, badgered about empathy of, and love and caring for others. That sort of unnecessary works doesn't serve me in this life, and it's not going to get me to heaven. And then she, of course, quotes, By grace are we saved through faith. Well, we all know that, amen. Praise to God for sending us a wholesome message through Brother Anderson. Well, the only part of that that I agree is the last line, the grace statement and the, and the wholesome message. Folks, this is what easy believism this is what uh, preaching pre-tribism does to folks. It's all about me. It's their get-out-of-jail-free card. They don't think they're going to have to die. They think the Lord's going to come back and save them right away, and it's going to be swapped away from any kind of troubles. That, that's what it gets, and I, I really do believe that this kind of teaching, this kind of preaching, is going to be the great falling away, the great apostasy that's spoken of in the Bible in the Second Thessalonians, and it says that we, that has to happen before the Lord comes back. Well, it's working on it. It's working on it. So therefore, once that Antichrist gets revealed, we will be looking to see the Lord Jesus. But until then, we need to preach Christ crucified. We need to preach faith in God. We need to preach repentance. I just thought you guys might like to see this, and you might get a belly laugh out of it as I did, but I almost cried to think that this person goes around professing their self a safe Christian. And I'm sure they go around perpetuating the, that uh, false doctrine of pre-tribulation rapture, be my guess. Well, may God bless you one and all. Hope you got something from this message. I'll be praying for you. You pray for us. Amen.